The Ailing Arbor Heart quest is the end of a long sequence of quests in the Elven Village, and other than being a regular quest with rewards, it's also a pre-requirement for one of the post-game events if you do the true ending and do the Unmoored World. One of the quests in the endgame section is called Wandering Roots and can't be finished unless you help Dorian first before the endgame. Now to get this quest you first need to complete two sets of quests starting with Gift of the Bow by talking with this guy here in Venworth and then you complete the Trial of Archery quest where you rescue Dorian from a cave. Also rather ah, there is a log bridge near the... The second set of quests is the dulled steel cold forge questline that you unlock by speaking with a guard who appears in front of the castle in Vernworth after doing the Seats of the Sovereign quest. Doing dulled steel will lead to another quest called Steeled Resolve Blazing Forge and completing this will unlock the Brocker Smithy in Back Batal. Doing these two sets of quests then is a pre-requirement for the Ailing Arborheart quest. Quick note here, you're going to be traveling a lot on this one, so if you can afford it, you can put port crystals in at least the Sacred Arbor and Back Batal, so you can use fairy stones to get back and forth. Otherwise, this quest is going to take quite a long time simply through traveling. Also, you need a pawn who speaks Elvish, or you need to learn the Elvish wordsmith specialization, which you can get by raising the affinity of any of the elves in the Sacred Arbor. Simply give them gifts, and the NPC logbook will tell you the type of stuff they like. So, for example, Agrel here likes beautiful things, so something like flowers will raise her affinity. And once it's high enough, she will give you the gift of the Elvish wordsworth specialization. Okay, so those are all the pre-requirements for this quest. To start the quest then, return to the Sacred Arbor and go near the Arbor Heart location where Dorian should automatically speak with you and after the first encounter is finished, go up to the railing in front of the tree and speak with her to start the quest. Dorian wants you to help find a material called Gift Fencha, which if you already know the specialization, then you will immediately tell that you need something called Scale Sender and this is produced by Batali Blacksmiths. Now we're not going to head straight to the blacksmith yet, as we're going to require some things first. The next part of the quest wants you to have rotten apples and rotten fish. You may already have them, and they can be found in various parts in the game world. But if you're looking for vendors to simply buy them, then the one in Harvey sells fish, and the one in the outpost at the start of the game sells apples. The one in Melv also sells apples, but there is no vendor there if you've completed the quest home is where the hearth is. To get them to rot, simply leave them in your inventory and sleep for a few days. Now we can travel to the blacksmith in Back Batal and speak with Sarah and watch the cutscene and you find out you need to make an elven dish using the fish and apples. Travel all the way back to the sacred arbor and talk with Dorian and she will use the fish and apples to make the dish. And once it's done, you will travel together back to Back Batal and speak with Brocker. I must endure the dwarven, but I will trust in you. Come, let us away to Batal. I thank you. Here, my brother gave this to me. Might we? You're back! And who's that you've got with you? An elf? Lastly, you must collect five scale cinders from the cave, and it's a tiny cave, so it shouldn't be a problem finding them. Doing this will then finish the quest. Now, I'm not sure if that's the only thing you need for the end game quest to work, but there's a few other things you can do with Dorian after the quest is done. So you can travel back to the Sacred Arbor to have a final conversation with her. If you sleep after this, you can speak with her and do an escort mission to Vernworth, after which she will give you a love letter of sorts. You can also try giving her bunches of flowers if you want to maximize your affinity with her. So that is how to complete the Ailing Arbor Heart quest, a fun quest but also a requirement for one of the endgame quests in the true ending. I won't go into the details but all you need to know is if you go to the Unmoored World and you travel to the Sacred Arbor you'll be able to finish the quest there. Guys like and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma 2 guides and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.